Kim, you look at Alonzo, slow spring, whatever, who cares? What are your expectations, though, for Pete Alonzo going into this season for the Mets? I think they're enormous. I, I mean, I expect him to be the guy, not, not a guy with pressure on him. He shouldn't feel pressure this season, in my opinion. He should just trust what has gotten him this far. And, and now that he's another year older, listen, I look at Pete Alonzo and I say, ideally, he should be a captain of the Mets, the fifth in history captain of the New York Mets. Not right now, not immediately, but that's the kind of personality I see in him. And more importantly than his personality, that's the kind of responsibility I've heard, as someone who's no longer in clubhouses, that I've heard Pete take on himself. I think he expects a lot of himself. I think he should. And I would love to see him have a fantastic season. Since his dominant rookie year, there are lofty expectations for him. So what did Pete prove to you last season that you think he'd carry over this year? Uh, I feel the opposite way. I felt like Pete proved to me, not that he had to prove anything to me personally, but he showed me that he is one of the preeminent power hitters in today's game. He carried the team when everyone else was letting the Mets down. Pete Alonso threw the offense on his back and carried them. Now, 53 as a rookie and then had kind of a weird 2020 season where he surged at the end, but he had 37 home runs last year. One thing that he really did improve on, which is a really good sign of his approach and his future growth, is his strikeout percentage, whereas his first two years he struck out about one in four. Uh, last year, he struck out under 20%, so one in five. That is a that is a tremendous jump. If he can keep that up, that means he's putting more balls in play, and his power is shown. He showed what he could do, the, the, the power stroke that he has. I'm super excited for Pete Alonso. I love that you guys both mentioned hitting well, hitting for average, not quite in the 300, 310, 320 sort of range, but he is a guy who is going to hit little bit closer to 300 if you take a look at the projections for him via zips so on the fan graphs website you can see he's projected to hit 259 that's about where i expect him to be but what's really encouraging here is that home run total so 41 home runs are projected to lead the national league he had 37 last year i think he is settling into this point in his career well, he will be a consistent 35 to 40 home run hitter. And that's really something the Mets need. And having that reliable power in the order is really, really important for this team moving forward. We talk about that lineup being a little thin as far as that goes. They have some, you know, length with professional hitters that could drive in some runs, be key situational guys. But as far as the power that threat in that lineup, Alonzo's got to be the guy. So I think that Mets fans would love that type of season for him with the 40 homers and driving in 100 runs.